Is this simply in heater territory, or are we actually in the area of full-blown filament dryer? Well, this unit's not gonna be cooking anything at 80 degrees Celsius, because that would probably soften some of the bits of your AMS, and Bamboo doesn't recommend that. But you can choose to dry filament anywhere from as low as 20 degrees all the way up to 65 degrees Celsius, which is enough to do a wide range of your common filaments. We'll get back to what the main drying is, but the genius of the system really lies in the various controls you have access to on the screens. Each roll of filament gets its own screen and its own controls. So this is super great if you're mixing and matching something like PLA or PETG, or PLA, PETG, and ABS. But in terms of the firmware, there's like loads of stuff that you can tweak. Looking at the screen, of course you see the actual temperature as well as the desired temperature that you'd like. But there's all sorts of crazy stuff as well, like the dry time, filament selection, relative humidity, drying stage, and like fan options. Most of these parameters that are showing here can be adjusted to customize your drying experience. But then there's even more layers of super granular control happening beyond that. For example, there's two stages of drying. The first stage is aimed at actually cooking the filament and baking all the moisture out. That's like your initial stage when you've got a wet spool that you need to dry. And then the other one's aimed at just maintaining dryness, particularly when you're printing with a spool that's hygroscopic. Now when you're performing the initial drying of a spool, you dial in all your settings like you normally would, temperature, the amount of time that you want it to dry for, those kind of things. But when you choose the second stage button for doing your second stage of drying, maybe while you're printing or just maintaining dryness, that's when you get to dial in some cool settings. So this mode also allows for temperatures to be adjusted between 20 and 65 degrees Celsius. But now you have access to the unlimited timer option, which is the option that I like the best because you can just set it to always go and your filament will always stay dry. It'll never let the humidity get too high. Your filament will be good to go whenever. And I really like that. You like that? And then, as if that wasn't enough control for simply the second stage, you've also got different power levels you can choose from. So honestly, bravo to the team that developed this because this is a lot of options available in a firmware that works pretty well inside of a whole unified system. And before you hop into the comments and ask, oh, what's gonna happen with all the moisture that builds up because you bake it out of the filament and the thing's sealed off? Don't worry, there's also drying doors that open up whenever the unit's turned on. If the filament's being dried, it's circulating airflow. That prevents any of the moisture buildup from occurring inside of the chamber while maintaining a dry environment. I'm telling you guys, this is the real deal. So like I said, I've been using the Tetris and it's been going great. 